Hello and welcome to episode 97 of my Working With Todoist series. And in this episode, I want to show you something that I've been working on for the last couple of weeks as I've been trying to get a way of having my goals and dreams inside Todoist so that when I'm doing my daily mini review or when I'm doing my weekly review, I can actually keep track of how I'm doing against these goals and these dreams. Now, I also confess I've had a lot of questions on the on the YouTube on this YouTube channel about how to use to do is to track your goals and to keep taking you that little bit little bit further towards achieving the things that you want to achieve. Now, one of the problems that we all face when we follow even any kind of productivity system is that the day-to-day -day stuff that gets thrown at us can often take us away from the things that are truly important to us individually. So something that might be very important to your boss or very important to a client might not actually be that important to you but they are the people who are paying us and so we prioritize that. Actually, we prioritize it above uh, what's important to us personally. So we often tend to have all these dreams inside our head and all these goals inside our head, but we never take them further forward. So what I want to do is I want to show you a way of using Todoist and all the wonderful features that we have in Todoist to track these goals and to monitor how we're doing using things like uh, formatting the text, uh, non-completable tasks and child tasks uh, below a project. It sounds quite complicated, it actually looks quite, looks quite complicated, but I think I've come up with a way uh, that you can actually do this. Now it might not work for everybody um, and be, remember that when you create your own system, and I, I strongly believe that you should create your own system that works for you. Um, but this is just another way that you might be able to use to do is to help you move forward with the things that are truly important to you, you know, your goals and your dreams. So let's get straight in and have a look and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so here we are in Todoist and down here you notice that I have a new project that I've added uh, called goals and basically what I've done is professional, personal and financial. Now you could create goals for other different areas of your life. It could be spiritual, it could be uh, family, whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm in the process of moving these and developing these into Todoist right now. Uh, but I really wanted to show you how I've gone about this. Now, as I said in the introduction, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put this together very much along the Tony Robbins uh, RPM method, which is uh, the rapid planning method or the results, purpose and map version. So let me show you what I've done is uh, if we look at my a professional goal that I have here. So my professional goal I've written out exactly what I want to do, which is to be an internationally renowned productivity speaker, speaking at events all around the world, doing seminars and speaking engagements to hundreds of delegates at each event. My seminars will be high energy and entertaining as well as educational. I put the purpose down next, where so the feeling I get when I present in, in front of a large crowd is amazing. It really is. I mean, I get such a buzz from that. The desire to really make a difference to the lives of as many people as I can. It really is something that I am. I really, really feel strongly. Money is not actually a, a particular great motivator for me. <clears throat> But the fact that I can help people to either be more productive or achieve their goals or achieve their uh, dreams, I mean, that is really what I, I get a real kick out of. And to leave a legacy, something that touches the lives of many people. Again, um, people that have inspired me is like Winston Churchill. I mean, his legacy still lives on. I mean, even William Shakespeare, people are reading him still every day. Plato, Socrates, um, all these people are still... They're, Leonardo da Vinci, they have left a legacy and, and it, it really inspires me. So this is like my purpose. This is the reason why I want to do this. And then I have uh, like an action here. My, these are the steps. Now, I know that some of you guys will notice that I have not actually set these up in a, a task orientated verb. 
So find out how I can become an international speaker. I mean, that is something, of course, that is a, an action verb, find out, yep. But build my own productivity channel is not. Continue to develop the working with work series, come up with a name for my system and set up a company. Now, these action steps here, um, I know they're not actually um, specific daily actions, but they. I'm at the moment processing this, but I can see in here uh, exactly what I want to do. Now, the way I've done this is the the overall project is top here is a non-completable project and I've got this set up. So if I just click on that, you'll see what I've done. I've got the star to make it a non-completable task, sorry, and then the double exclamation mark uh, bolds it. So this really stands out at the top. And by the way, on a mobile device, this looks fantastic. I should point that out. On a mobile device, when you lay it out like this, it really looks awesome. Now, if we look at the purpose, again, on the purpose, this is just a non-completable task, so, <clears throat> and bolded. And then these tasks are indented. So if I actually, um, they're non-completable because they are purpose, they're not a task itself. So all of these are, are non-completable. I haven't bolded these. Uh, and then the action steps are completable because something like set up my company uh, is a task and I can when I do that I can just tick it off and I've got it done and I can actually keep a track of what I am actually doing within these these actions so let me just take you into so we'll, I'll show you how we do this we'll start a new project so a sample goal I'm going to add that and the first the first step is to actually set out what it is you want so let's say uh, let's imagine to to get myself physically, physically perfect and gorgeous in every way. I'm sure, I'm sure many of you want to do this, so let's do it this way, every way. Um, and I'm going to make that a non-completable task and we're going to bold it. So that's the double exclamation mark at either side. Again, you can actually do double star, by the way. So there we go. That's my purpose. Sorry, that's my result. Now we're going to go for the purpose. I'm going to make the uh, headline here, uh, non-completable task again, and then exclamation mark, and then da da, and we've done that. And then command forward arrow indents the next one. And again, it wants to be non-completable, so star. Um, so because I want, to, oops, we don't want to be capitalizing that. Uh, we can capitalize it if you want, but because I want to be sexy or something like that. Um, let's do the next one again. Star for a non-completable task um, because I want people to admire me. Um, okay, a bit shallow, I know, but you you get the idea. And then. Uh, purpose number three. Let's not, let's not do any more. <laughs> number three. Number three. Ah, purpose. Uh, I'm rushing this, but uh, I wanted you to just to get an idea. And again, we want to make that non-completable task, and that's done. So now we've got the purposes in there. So we've got our result to get myself physically perfect and gorgeous in every way. You would actually want to develop that a little bit more. But basically, that's what you want to actually be very, very clear and imagine exactly what you want to uh, achieve. Then you put in your purpose, which is I, I would go with three, but it doesn't matter. You could have one or two or three or even five. The final part of the RPM, if you like, is the uh, I don't really call it the RPM. I actually prefer to call it the what, why and how. What do you want? Why do you want it? And how are you going to achieve it? So this is the action steps. Um, and again, you want non-completable action steps, action steps. And again, I actually, I want to bold that just to show you, by the way, you can double star this and you get the same effect. You get the bold effect. So <laughs> it doesn't really matter how you do it. Uh, again, you want to indent that to one step and then you can say, go to the gym every day. Um, <laughs> I don't want to. Um, and then you could have um, uh, talk to a dietitian for best diet. Um, you know, so you, you just 
fill out all these action steps. Now, the thing about having this in uh, to do is, is you can actually develop this as and when you go. Now, the thing is, don't put a label on this. Just uh, these action steps are not really meant to be in part of your daily uh, task. Uh, these are things that you're going to review on a weekly basis or even on a daily basis. Um, what you want to be doing is you want to be looking at how you can turn action steps into routines because routines is what will take you further forward. Now, I know I have often said that routines are the daily mundane tasks, but what you can do is you can color these as I've done here, which is a different shade of green. They're still green, but as I tick off these tasks, that will show up in my, um, my karma points, which is really what I'm looking for. Uh, to actually get uh, not to as many greens. So here, if you look at last Sunday, fantastic. I got a lot of red tasks done, which is work, which means money. Um, blue tasks are my, my ticklers. Greys are from straight from inbox tasks that I've completed. And yellow is my areas of focus, which is nice to see that they're growing. So um, this is what you want to be looking for. But you can action pull out your action steps and then you want to be looking for um, ways that you can turn these into routines but make sure you maintain the color so if I was to do this uh, move this in I would actually create an a sub project here uh, so our project below I'm going to change that to my um, goals color and goals routines and that's basically how I would do it so that I still have a, a differentiator but they're still routines so go to the gym four times a day blah 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 but I would keep these in here um, because what I want to do is use this as my uh, reference so that I can make sure I'm moving forward. Okay, so that's basically how I would f focus on my goals and dreams and if I was only using Todoist. Now, if I'm being perfectly honest, I would probably, I would probably process, uh, develop these in Evernote first. I don't know why, it's just Evernote is where I can do brain dumps and I feel very comfortable in that environment. But you can actually still do this perfectly well in Todoist if you wanted to use Todoist. So anyway, there you go. Uh, that's how I would develop my plans using uh, the natural planning method. My goals, sorry, using the natural planning method or using Tony Robbins uh, RPM method or my method of what, why, how, which I think is much more simple anyway. Okay, hopefully you found this very useful. Don't forget, guys, uh, my book is on sale right now. For those of you who haven't bought a copy, you can still get a copy uh, available at both Amazon, iBookstore, and directly from my website. There's a link in the comment section below. Also, I should just point out that uh, I'm also part of a group called the Productivity in Tech, and it's a Facebook group. There's a link in the comment section below. Uh, productivity in Tech is for all of you people who have an interest in productivity and technology and using the two to become an even more productive person. So take a look at that. Join the group. It's a fantastic group. There's some amazing people in there and I'm sure you will not be disappointed with the kind of help that you can uh, get from that group. Have a wonderful, wonderful productive week and I'll see you in the next episode.